You have thick legs and kind of, you know, you're grouped in the center there. That's he faces away. If you can, okay, to control this position, I call this the face away. What I'm doing is I'm trying to force his top shoulder over his bottom shoulder by pulling his bottom shoulder with my hand and controlling his top shoulder with my right hand. Because if he wants to try to kind of escape from me and roll away from me towards uh, the camera and go to his knees, I can pull him with my hand back. If he tries to push back into me and go flat, I can drive with my neck. If I'm too far over this way, he can easily get his right shoulder onto the mat. Oh, onto the mat. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you have to do this. I'll put your feet to the logo. I want my, uh, what is this? Stir not sternum. What do you call this? Yeah, Collar bone? Yeah. Yeah. I want it to be literally on the back of his uh, shoulder blade so that my left hand is at the bottom. So I can always reach here, and my right hand is at the top. If you notice, my feet are dug in, and my I, if I'm like this, I'm gonna be too far over. I need to be right about here so that I can drive, okay? And I'm really driving with my left foot, okay? As I'm trying to roll him forward, okay? Because what happens is, is that if you're too high, you go here, and then you drop, so you go lateral, and then you adjust, adjust, okay? Because what I want to do is, I want to make it incredibly uncomfortable for him, and I want to keep driving him forward, because if, if he does not stop that forward roll with his right hand, he's going to get his back taken, basically. So as I drive him forward here, okay, his right hand gets committed, which makes it fairly easy to get this hand right here. But <clears throat> I also have the option to go perpendicular to this two points right here. So his shoulder and his hand, I'm gonna walk my hip this way and I'm gonna drive this way here, okay? I can also reach and grab the palm here as I begin to take his back this way as my foot goes to his bottom leg, okay? As here, will probably roll and then my left hand goes all the way through. If, if you notice, this is like a logo that some may recognize, put go flat. So I don't have to go under his neck. Well, oftentimes they'll tuck their chin and then this will happen here. And then you can begin to extend him this way and it's a familiar logo. However, <clears throat> I'm driving forward, I'm driving, making him uncomfortable here, get here. And notice how my foot came out like a kickstand mm. out here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my left lapel, I try to feed around here, but it came over, let's say, and I fed it right through here. Mm. I'm just gonna keep the arm here. So I fed it here, and I'm just gonna get the arm off position here, and I'm gonna lean it back. Keep it a bit, lean it a bit. That's all I'm doing here. I'm letting the lapel work the torque. <laughs> Here. And we both have bougies, but fine. Right here. Okay. My feet are locked around the shoulder, body leg, overhead leg. Head leg is open to control his head rotation. He's not going anywhere. The great thing about this is that I'm letting my lapel pull. I am just keeping this as a hook. This hook prevents him from taking his arm out. For him to remove this arm, he's got to get at least semi-straight, maybe this way, here, okay? However, if I keep it bent, okay, and lean in the back, he's not going anywhere, because I can only sit up, pull it through, and look at how much torque there is right here, yes, okay? My knee is controlling, my thigh is controlling the rotation of his head, and I can begin to finish the arm, Right there. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get yes now here. You can have the arm lock. Maybe he's really, really super tight right here and defending here. Look, I can't. I kind of feel. Eh. Look, I'm gonna feed it right here. Pull it through, and I'm gonna sit and immediately lean back. Okay. In order for me to get the arm without this arm raiser, I'd have to be here. 
okay? When I'm here, but let's say oftentimes it's like this, if he stops moving his body, he can rock me fairly easily. Okay. He can bridge and rock you to the left, and I lose the arm lock, okay? When, because look, my hips were close to him, I have no base here. That's why I always say, you do this right here, but this is way better. But this right here, I'm on my back. So no matter how much movement he makes, he's pulling right into that hook. Okay? And I can ride this out, because this is very uncomfortable for him, and I'm not even like pulling or torquing it. I just wanna make sure that this hook doesn't go straight as I'm keeping it bent. And now slowly, as I look and see, okay, he's wearing out, sit up, pull it through to the hip, and then I make it straight, and then finish it, okay? So from the S mount, pull through, and I'm just keeping this bent. I'm not grabbing, I'm not trying to straighten, I'm keeping it bent right here. Look, look, and I'm leaning it back. Keep it bent, let's see. Rocking the boat. Sitting it up, reeling it in. See, I took the slack out. Sorry, Phil. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Are you okay? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of tension here, oh. and your hips are engaged. Try that, guys, and just make sure you're okay with each other's inner elbows, because I can't bend my arm. See how much further I can bend the left ones than the right? Cause that's because you guys messed up my elbow. So, thank you very much. All right, well, let's go. One, two, three. <laughs>